The school store is as packed as ever today. I didn't feel like having soba or udon, so I made my way over here to get a sandwich or something and was thus greeted with this mass of people. I got this. Uh, oh my god, there's a giant cockroach right there! See, the crowd's gone. I'm very sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Imagination and wit are key to success, no matter the situation. It's currently break time in between classes again. Oh. Okay, uh, Romans 2 again. What's the girl's impression of me? What's the girl's impression of me? So that basically means nobody cares much for me, huh? So I gotta put myself out there more, eh? So, like you're saying, playing in the class clown would either be hit or miss, so I should go for a more positive image like the suave guy. Wow, thanks! Hearing that from you really boosts my self-confidence, or what about me do you think isn't too bad? Uh, wow, thanks! Well, hearing compliments from someone you've known since childhood comes across a lot more sincere than if it's from someone you don't know. Well, it still feels that way to me. Your words have a kind of power to them. Case in point, when you come back at me with that, I'm left defeated. No, not at all. I love being around you. You're really cool. Okay, next, uh, hobbies too. What's your opinion on Japanese motion pictures? What's your opinion on Japanese motion pictures these days? Then let's go with emotional ones or tear jerkers. Anything goes, including anime. But there still are some you'd consider emotional, right? Like they're all cookie cutter stories and full of cliches? So it's like they all lack originality? Uh, so it's like they all lack originality? So it's like they all lack originality? Yeah, I can imagine that'd be pretty boring to watch. I want a movie to surprise me and keep throwing in interesting developments. Yeah, I imagine so. Do you like when the production is really impressive, like the effects and stuff? True, a stellar actor can really make a movie intense. 
Haha, <laughs> we ended up talking a lot longer than I thought. You better get back. Hmm, you want to do something? Homeroom has just ended, so school is over with for the day. I don't have anything else to do, so nah, I guess I'll go with Momo. Sure, sounds good. Ready when you are. Your house is on the way, right? Fine by me. Gotcha. I head out of the classroom and leave school. Guess it's gonna be another day of wandering around the station doing nothing. I'm walking through the mall in front of the station when I happen to spot a certain someone in a general store. Hiragi? She is over by the stationery brooding something over. Weird. Didn't think she'd be the one to stop here. Oh, that's pretty cool. You collecting these? Huh? Hmm? Just hanging around. Talk about an overreaction. I already kinda knew this, but Hiragi really is an open book. Oh, scented erasers, huh? I remember those things. I used to collect them when I was little. I distinctly remember this one that was a skeleton in a coffin and it glowed in the dark. What? You have friends, Hiragi? I dodge Hiragi's attempt to hit me as I always do. Oh, Hiragi, maybe she better try learning some sneak attacks if she wants to hit me. I'm just kidding. I know you have friends, Hiragi. <coughs> you got one right here. I point to myself. Hey, that's rude! But you're right, I have plenty of time to kill. When I don't have work, I basically don't have shit to do. Just take a chill pill and relax. I'm sure even you have friends, Hiragi. Everyone has a few at least. I just thought it was kind of funny seeing you staring down those erasers. Hmm, let's see. Try looking at him like this. I go for the crazy chimpanzee look. What did I do to you? Come on, we are classmates, aren't we? What's wrong with a little casual conversation? But yeah, I'm used to it. So yeah, all the friend stuff aside, do you buy this kind of stuff? I pick up a notebook and a, a ballpoint pen, both with character designs on them. This is the kind of stuff I'd expect Mochizuki or Himari to like. I notice a lot of girls like to underline stuff in their notes with color pens. Check out this 3mm ballpoint pen here. They put glitter in the ink so it's all sparkly and crap when you write. <laughs> Well, you don't write everything with it. Hmm, how to describe this? It's kinda like something you do for fun. And as you've already seen, they have a whole series of stationery aimed at girls. I think lately they've had a lot that doubles as keychains, as weird as that is. The point being, they don't care much about practicality as much as they do about cuteness. Oh, hey Momo, sorry about that, but didn't you get my text? Hmm, 
、トカゲ野郎がなんでここに。<笑>トカゲ野郎って。まあ、穴がち間違ってないからいいけどね。いや、そこはなんとか言えよ。ヒラギ does not seem too fond of Momo。But eh, I can see why. He's a clever little bastard, always with that cheeky smile, and you can never get to the best of him. <laughs> hey, you actor on, Momo. You really should learn that thing called thinking before you speak. I was just choosing out some stationery I thought Hiragi might like. She said she didn't want any glow pens, so I was thinking about other options. He's not wrong. <laughs> I got to learn something a little interesting about Hiragi today. So, all things considered, I guess today wasn't a total waste. I've just finished、uh, taking my bath and now I'm fiddling around with my phone until I get sleepy. I wonder if a day will come when my recent messages list is filled with messages from my girlfriend. Genki, Genki, Momo, Genki, Momo, Momo, Genki. It's nothing but dudes! You could at least send me a message every once in a while, girls! I do get messages from Mochizuki and Ayabe as well every once in a while, but there's nothing really noteworthy about them. Oh well, that's fine though. One day I'll be sending cutesy, lovey dovey, emoji filled messages to my girlfriend. Good night. Lunch break. Himari's seat is flocked with girls going crazy over her hamster pictures. Mochizuki's in there too, so yeah, I guess girls really can't resist the cuteness of small animals. Holy cow! You can tell she's dying to go see them. Oh, you do? 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 Dude, if Himari heard that, you would literally be dead. I know she said her current hamsters were the sixth generation the other day. I used to play a lot with her hamsters too. When she brought them over to my place, they'd a lot of times run behind my dresser, our fridge, places like that, and Himari's face would turn pale every time. If you insult hamsters in her presence, you will find yourself in a world of trouble. <laughs> What are you scheming? Well, not that I care. Knowing you, it's gotta be stupid as hell. Oh, okay. 
With that, Genki charges at the group of girls at Himari's seat. I will say though, I awfully admire that spontaneous proactiveness of his. It takes only seconds for Himari's barrage of questions to begin. It's fairly common knowledge that people become really talkative when the subject is about things they love. Nonomura's remark immediately throws Genki into crisis. The poor guy, I guess I'll help him out. Calm down, everyone! I'm his hamster! What? Look, I have these amazing cheek pouches! Nom, nom, nom. Mogu, mogu I hand him money for the curry bun while munching on it. Goodness gracious, this is delicious. I learned it. Because I'm a student here. It's a, yeah, one of those things, a mutation. I mean, there are things like gigantic squids and whales in our world after all. So, who's to say there can't exist some human-sized hamsters in some jungle? Huh? What the dickens is hamster language? Hamster language? Easy peasy! I can speak that in my sleep. Hum, 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 hum. Hehe, how was that? What gives, damn it? It's you guys who made me do it! I am not doing that! Use your head! There are limits, you know! Come on, Genki, we'll go practice hamster language over there. <laughs> Lately, I have become able to talk more naturally with Himari. At the start of the term, things were awkward between us for various reasons, and we didn't know how to act around the other, but... Hum! I've begun to like our class and the overall atmosphere of the people in it, Himari now being a natural part of that. Hold on. Why am I making myself comfortable here? I've had a shit ton of questions on my mind since that day we did outdoor cooking. Himari is in a pretty good mood today. 
It seems she had a crush on me back when we were kids, and I was her first love. It's obviously just a remnant of the past by now, so it isn't relevant in any way. But a guy like me can't possibly remain calm after hearing something like that. Even if she doesn't have any interest in my... in me right now, I can't help but feel my temperature rising whenever I see her face. I at least gotta ask her how long it lasted. Oh god, that's a total creep question. I haven't been rejected or anything, dammit. Why is my dumb virgin self so hung up on something from ages ago? I just gotta forget about it. I mean, it's not like I have the courage to ask her about it in person anyways. <sighs> Hey, Nonomura! Huh? How good of friends are you and Minahara? Uh, well, reasons. Hold on! Don't get the wrong idea, I'm not narrowing my interest down to any single girl. So, I just want to know things about Minahara so I can put it together with all the stuff I know about other girls. I guess that excuse was pretty damn poor. Nunomura is giving me a very suspicious look. Uh, what is it? D don't just assume things. It's not like I. For real? Huh? Me? Buy something for you? Well, you have a point. Casually waving her hand at me, she then walks off towards the school cafeteria. I haven't known her for very long yet, but I have to say that selling out information about your best friend for 1000 yen is a pretty questionable thing. We're now done with school.